With artificial intelligence, we can do anything. In reality, we can't do many things. But with AI, we can do analyze possibilities. Take for example, you see this picture. He is a famous man in India and he is the owner of India's number one jewelry shop, Lalita Jewelers. But the problem here is, he is so busy man and he never want to grow his hair as well because if his hair turns into grey, he feel like distracted. See, I am getting old so that he will get distracted. That is the reason he told in an interview that he don't want to grow his hair. But that's okay for him. But people who are his well-wishers, at least once in lifetime, you want to see the owner of Lalita Jewelers, Mr. Kiran Kumar with hair. But fortunately, we have artificial intelligence and we all know that there is an app called Face App. Using Face App, I used to create hair for him. See how good he is looking now. He is looking so handsome, right? Even with bald head also he is handsome, but with complete hair, he is looking even good. Not only creating hair, Using artificial intelligence with face app, we can do so many other things. Like an young person can be turned into an old age person. Sometimes an old person can be turned into a young person and we can change the moods of a person. An angry person face can be turned into a smile face. A person who doesn't wear glasses can be put up glasses. These are all endless possibilities. But how come face app is creating such kind of wonders? What kind of artificial intelligence is using in face app? In this video, we are going to crack that. Welcome to Artificial Intelligence. I am Krishna Jatanya Mandela. Let us come to the straight point. The technology behind this app is Generative Adversarial Networks. In short form, we call it as GANs. But what is this GAN? To be technical, it is so difficult to understand. So let me give you a very basic example. In our childhood, we all do mathematics. Uh, usually we go to our teacher. Once you solve the problem, we go to a teacher. But the teacher will always say, see, there is a mistake. Go and correct it. Then we go and start looking at the problem and we try to solve it. Again, we go to the teacher. Teacher will tell, see, there is one more mistake. Again, we solve it. After five to ten months of uh, correcting the mistake, finally, the teacher will tell, okay, that's correct. So this is a best example for GAN. Here, the student is a generator and teacher is the discriminator. Teacher always know the right answer. But the teacher will never tell you the right answer. Teacher always tell the student to correct yourself. Which means teacher providing the student an opportunity to use his creativity. With mistakes, the student has to learn the correct answer. And finally, teacher will tell the correct answer. So in GANs, unsupervised learning is being used. Now coming to the practicality, how face app is using generative adversarial networks GANs. As we discussed earlier, the generator and the discriminator example. What FaceApp will do means, initially before launching the artificial intelligence program into FaceApp, they used to do experiments with lakhs of images. Just like this generator and discriminator, an image will be given to the generator and the discriminator need to make the effect. Which means as we, as we earlier discussed, the bald head person need to be fitted with the beautiful hair. Now first, what the generator will do? The generator will put the hair on ears. Then the discriminator will tell, see this is incorrect. Again the generator will put the hair on nose. Again the discriminator will tell, this is wrong. Again it will put the hair on mouth. Again discriminator will tell, it is wrong. Finally after so many trial and errors, the generator will put the hair on the bald head person. That's how the discriminator will tell, finally you you done good job. So this is a successful model. The same process will be repeated for lakhs of images. After doing this lakhs of images of examples, they will create a tool which any bald head image can be suited with a hairy image. The same process will be repeated for other process like smile expression, a, a depressed person face can be turned into a smile expression, a person don't have any glasses can be turned into a glass person. So that is the complete working of generative adversarial networks, GANs. Hope you understand what is a GAN now and how face app is using this GAN in their artificial intelligence technology. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to artificial intelligence. For facts videos, please do subscribe to MVS Facts English.